Did you know you can use Google Sheets to compute the pro rata rule? Hi, this is financial planner Sean Mullaney. Let's discuss. So the pro rata rule, subject to all sorts of confusion in the financial planning world, the personal finance space, it's very relevant in two applications. One is the so-called backdoor Roth IRA. And two is when we're older and we're taking distributions from our retirement accounts. And, you know, the pro rata rule for all the confusion is only doing one thing. It is allocating what's referred to as IRA basis between two amounts. Those amounts, which we will discuss, are one, Roth conversions and IRA distributions during the year, and two, the year-end amounts inside your IRAs. And for this purpose, that includes traditional IRAs, SEP IRAs, and simple IRAs. But let's be abundantly clear. All we're doing in the pro rata rule is we are proportionally allocating IRA basis between two amounts, Roth conversions and IRA distributions on the one hand, and year-end amounts and IRAs on the other hand. That's it. That's all the pro rata rule does. And guess what? You can compute the pro rata rule in Google Sheets. And I'll, I'm going to explain how that happens in just a second. I'm going to go through an example. It's actually on my blog. If you go to this blog post, phytaxguy.com backslash the dash pro dash rata dash rule, uh, you can find this example. It's example two on the blog post, and it's essentially a bad example, but it, I'm doing the bad example just to show you how the pro rata rule works. Um, so I have an example, example two on my blog, where Someone in January, I call him Joe, in January of 2023, he makes a $6,500 non-deductible contribution to a traditional IRA. That creates IRA basis. Great. So we put that into our Google Sheet. And then we say, well, you know, in February of 2023, Joe did a, a Roth conversion of that amount plus a little bit of interest that accrued on that amount. So in, 20, in Jan, February of 2025, or 2023, he does a 65.05 Roth conversion of the entire amount that he contributed in that first step, step one, to the non-deductible traditional IRA. So that's ostensibly the backdoor Roth IRA, but he's got a problem. Separately, he has an old pre-tax 401k that he rolled to a traditional uh, IRA. So it's a 401k, now it's in a traditional IRA, at year end in 2023, it was worth $80,000. That creates the pro rata rule problem because recall, we have to allocate this $6,500 of basis between these two amounts, and that's going to make his backdoor Roth IRA very tax inefficient. All right, so what we have to do first is we have to add up our total uh, distributions and Roth conversions in the year, 6505 We add that to our year-end balance of the $80,000 in Google Sheets is actually quite easy, just the traditional plus uh, function here. And you can see that hopefully on the screen how I computed that. Okay, great. Then we have to allocate this basis between these two amounts. So how much goes to the conversion? How much goes to the year-end distribution? It's based on fair market value. So guess what? More of that basis is going to go to the year-end amount, which is not a good outcome in this example. So in this example, we do the 6505 divided by that we get 7.52 percent goes to the roth conversion and then we do uh the year end amount over the total is going to be something like 92 percent look at that 92.48 percent so how much basis does our backdoor roth ira get to recover well all we have to do there is we do the uh, amount of basis 6500 times that percentage and that's an easy calculation 489. So how much is it of the Roth conversion? The 6505 is taxable. We do B minus G here. And guess what? 6,000 is taxable. We created 6,000 of taxable income when we were doing a quote unquote backdoor Roth IRA. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? So you got to be careful with the backdoor Roth IRA. You got to make sure at year end, there's no material balances in those traditional IRAs, SEP IRAs and simple IRAs. And Google Sheets is just one resource available to you, not advice for your situation, but it's a resource available to you for you to go ahead and compute the pro rata rule. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please mash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.